today we shall reflect on the life of St. John Chrysostom. St. John Chrysostom was the son of a Latin father and a Greek mother. At the age of 23, his friend St. Basil and St. Miletius, bishop of his native Antioch, turned him away from the Greek classical studies in which he had already attained considerable proficiency and directed him instead to study the Holy Scripture. Two years later, he was baptized, ordained a lector, and thereafter lived for several years as an anchorite in a cave. Made a priest in 386, John became the very eyes, ears, and hands of his bishop and turned more and more to the writing of treaties and books, many of which have come down to us. His greatest asset, however, was a spiritually deep content of his preaching, which came to influence life throughout the East, earning him in the process the Greek suffix Chrysostom, meaning golden mouthed. God granted him the privilege of holding the blessed come down from heaven during his mass to assist at the consummation of the great mystery. After he had spent twelve years in priestly ministry, John was brought by stealth to Constantinople by the Emperor Arcadius, for he realized that the people of Antioch would not willingly let their idol depart, and there consecrated bishop of that great eastern metropolis. He immediately began to correct abuses and to initiate much needed ecclesiastical reform. He reduced radically the expenses of his episcopal household and himself continued to live in the greatest simplicity. The ranks of the clergy were purged of unworthy elements and monastic discipline was tightened. In his sermons, he fearlessly inveighed against the dissolute lives, the excessive luxuries and the vanities of the imperial court. In so doing, he greatly delighted the common people who came to hear him by the thousands and who, often moved to tears, frequently applauded him even in church. But on the other hand, this also served to swell the ranks of his intriguing enemies at court, even alienating Queen Eudocia. In the fifth year of his episcopate, the patriarch Theophilus of Alexandria, who had been summoned to Constantinople to answer certain ecclesiastical charges, convened instead the so-called Oak Synod, which, with the Emperor's consent, declared John deposed under various pretexts and sent him into exile. But the temper of the people was such that the Empress had him recalled almost immediately. As soon as things had calmed down, however, and after two failed attempts on his life, John again was banished to Armenia and the wild east of the Black Sea, where, subjected to long marches and exposed to the elements, he passed away on the 14th of September, 407. St. John Chrysostom is one of the four great fathers of the Eastern Church and the reformer of its clergy. Its more eminent doctor and writer he is the patron of preachers and is invoked against epilepsy.